Yo, what is going on guys? My name's a friend of Machine, and today I've got you a Honey Badger Chem Strike, and this is actually like a solo Chem Strike and all that stuff, but it's just for the background. And first of all, what I want to say is Call of Duty Ghost is dead right now. I, I don't know why. On next gen, it's absolutely dead. I've had to revert back to PS3 and play with some subs and stuff, and I ended up re doing really well. I've got a really, really awesome gameplay going up Friday, and when I say really awesome, there's not that many of them in the world, so stay tuned for them. But what I'm going to talk about today, besides the fact that Call of Duty Ghost is dead and why I think it is, is something that is kind of, kind of getting out there on YouTube now, kind of getting noticed a bit more about the new Call of Duty. And you can obviously tell it by the title, because I'm going to make the title something to do with this. And that is, Advanced Warfare Zombies has actually been confirmed. And by that, it's not its own game mode, don't get me wrong. It's not like, oh, you can go and click on Zombies like you can on Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1 and World at War. You can actually go on the survival, the exo survival separate game mode, and when you click on that, there's like, once you get past the highest wave, there's a survival wave, and that'll be the zombies interlinked with that. And the reason I know all this, and you lot might already know this already, or some of you might, but if you didn't know, Call of Duty developers that released a pre-loads, pre-load version of Advanced Warfare to download onto your system just before. Not like the game itself or anything, getting it early, but just to preload it onto your system so you can see all the trophies and stuff or something like that. And one of the trophies was actually survive the um, bonus wave, the bonus survival wave, and that triggers a lot and lot of conspiracies. But it was actually confirmed that there will be zombies because there's pictures and there's images and there's stuff like that of people like playing the game mode exo survival and there's like zombies. Running at them in even in like exoskeleton suits with burnt faces, scars, and all this stuff. But let me know what you think about that. I think it's going to be pretty cool, in my opinion, because it won't just be, oh, yeah, let's see how high we can get. It'll be, oh, there's two challenges here survive the waves and then survive the zombies and stuff like that. And it is an achievement in itself. It was like 10 gamer score that I saw on screen. I don't know what trophy it'll be, though, because I'm a PS4 player myself. Like I mentioned at the start, um, yeah, PS4 and Ghost is dead right now, and I, don't, I really don't know what to do with it at the, at the moment. But it'll be. I think it'll be really good. To be honest, it'll be a bit more of a challenge, a bit more of a variation. And my opinions on Advanced Warfare actually kind of picked up from what they used to be. <laughs> my opinions of it used to be, oh my god, this game's going to look awful. Because the first glance of it, it was like I saw a guy jump over a tsunami in his exoskeleton suit with his jetpack, like practically jumped 20 feet in the air, and the guy killed him, and he got a medal called Skeet Shooter for shooting him out of the sky, and that shows that's going to be pretty common. But I like a challenge, and I'm up for that, and if this new game mode is going to be what it makes out to be, it looks really interesting at the moment, then we're going to have a lot of fun on it, and I'll play with a lot, um, a lot of subscribers as well, if you want to message me. I've been playing with a few subscribers recently, and I've, yeah, I've been enjoying it, so if you want to message me and play Ghost on PS3 or PS4, just let me know and all that stuff, because I'm, I'm down for that. I actually got a really, really awesome gameplay, like I said, I'm going to upload Friday with some subs. The guy in it, it was a perfect team, and yeah, stay tuned for that, because it, it is a good gameplay, in my opinion. And I don't usually say stuff like that about my own gameplays and stuff, but in my opinion, it was the best one I've got so far. And yeah, that's basically it, but I, what, what I want to talk about as well is why is Ghost dead on next gen, and I think that's because... On next gen, people are more like, I don't know, it's just, it occurs to me that everyone tries to play like an MLG player or use eSports classes. Like, I die a lot in Ghost, I'm like, oh, that kid killed me with his eSports class. Like a Vector with like, no ADS perks or, apart from Sleight of Hand, not Stalker, and Buzzle Break and Foregrip and stuff like that. And it really, it is annoying because there's a separate playlist for that, like the EXO, uh, not the EXO, the eSports playlist, sorry. And it, it's just... It's just really weird because this weekend recently I've been trying to join lobbies and me and my friends have literally just been searching for a game for about half hour or something even longer than that or something ridiculous and there's been no good lobbies. I mean, amongst the lobbies that you get, there's people in the red clans, like the red clan tags and they're just, they're just objective players and to be honest, I like giving you guys gameplays where, yeah, we might win but we'll do good as well, I'll do good, I'll maybe drop a chem or maybe two or something like that with a full team. I've never really dropped a solo double chem as you probably know because I would have uploaded it. But I think next gen really did screw up kind of this year with the with the Call of Duty game because a lot of people didn't like it and a lot less people are playing COD now. Like if you look back on PS3, there's a lot more people playing Black Ops 2 still. I think there's sometimes like around 70k when Nuketown 24/7's on there. Nuketown 2025 24/7 or something like that. 
And it just shows how it's slowly dying. I mean, the, the next gen console, when it came out, there wasn't a really big hype about it. It was just Ghost. There wasn't any new games to pull it towards that. And I think that really didn't do it any good this year. I don't know if Advanced Warfare on PS4 will have any more players or anything like that. But that's basically just what I wanted to talk about today. And I honestly, oh, this kid gets turned on here. Oh, get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. I was, my friend was just sat next to me when I got this chem strike. And he was just like, oh, my God, he just got wrecked. But, yeah, it, was a, it wasn't the longest video today guys, I'm sorry for that, I haven't had time being caught with a lot of schoolwork, again, as usual, I know I make that excuse a lot, but it's not an excuse, I'm telling you the truth, I won't lie, I mean, you know, I love posting videos on YouTube and stuff like that, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, if you did, please leave a like down below and show some love and all that stuff, share it around and all that stuff, and besides getting the chemistry guys, you get the mortifier, which I thought was pretty cool, and I actually like the map very view as well, before I end off right here, I just want to say I like, I like this map, because... It's the only DLC map besides Freefall that I can actually play good. I, I joined this game late and got the chem strike and I just thought, you know what, I, I like this chem strike. It's something about it. I actually got a decent lobby amongst all the ones that I couldn't get on because the ghost is literally dead. It's just, I don't know what's happened to it on next gen, it's just died. And I went back on PS3 and ended up dropping this awesome gameplay that I'm going to upload Friday. So make sure you stay tuned for that, guys. And thank you all for watching. Like I said before, if you enjoyed today's video, please let me know down in the comments. And let me know what you want to see on Ghost if you want to play with me or anything. Just, you know, give me your account and I'll add you all. You can add me. I'll put mine in the description or the comments if you want to. If you want to see it and add me and stuff, I have been playing with a few subs, like I said, at the weekend and stuff. So thank you all for watching again, guys. Um, if you like the video, show it some love as well. Maybe show it to some friends who might enjoy my channel if they have YouTube accounts. Or if they just want to see some Call of Duty gameplay, it's high scoring. I usually post that stuff. So thank you all for watching, guys. If you like today's video, please, please show it some love. Because I've been grinding out some gameplays recently. And yeah, that's all for today, guys. Thanks for all for watching. And peace out. I'm not holding me for anyone